a 440cc single cylinder air cooled motorcycle. When I say those words, the first thing that pops into your mind is probably not the brand Harley Davidson. But guess what? It's real and it's on its way. G'day, I'm Quackerjack, and today we're going to be having a look at the collaboration between two of the largest motorcycle manufacturers in the world that you'd probably never have expected to see. I'm talking about the newly revealed Harley Davidson X440. Now, before we go into exactly what we know about this bike so far, I think it's important that we have a look at how we got here and why this is so interesting. Back in 2020, after almost a decade of chasing sales in the incredibly huge Indian motorcycle market, Harley Davidson decided to rethink their position and in September of that year announced that they would be pulling out of the country. This was a big deal. India has a ginormous market for motorcycles and Harley was doing everything they could to capitalize, going so far as to developing their small Street 500 specifically for that market and assembling their bikes there. Unfortunately, they didn't catch on. Even though here in Australia, the street line was actually flying out the doors. In fact, my dad actually bought himself one to get himself back on the road and my review of it on the channel is actually quite a popular video. Well, only a month after they made that announcement, they inked a deal with Hero Motor Corp. Now, I don't blame you if you haven't heard that name before, but Hero Motor Corp is actually the largest motorcycle manufacturer in the world by volume, and they have the lion's share of the market in India. This deal would essentially allow India's Hero Motor Corp the distribution rights of their bikes, and to develop and sell a range of bikes under the Harley Davidson name. Basically, Harley were leasing out their name. Now this is by no means a new thing. They already do it in Asian markets with their X350 and X500 models, which are parallel twins made by China's Chanjang. Triumph does something very similar with Bajar for their line of single cylinders, which are very popular in India. And that is exactly what Harley is now coming for. The newly unveiled X440 is the first model from the Harley Hero deal to be announced and we can expect more to be on the way. And at this stage, we don't know a whole lot with neither company announcing official specs or details, but we do have some pictures that reveal some key details about the new bikes. We know that it will most likely be 440 cc's as referenced in the name and be an air-cooled single cylinder, which is a format that is very much still favored in Indian markets. Other clues are that the rev counter reads to 8,000 RPM, which suggests peak performance will arrive just shortly before that, probably around 7,000. Now, if we go off of similarly sized air-cooled single cylinders, we can expect the power to be around the 30 horsepower mark. Now, while that might not sound like a lot, this bike will be going up directly against the likes of Royal Enfield's 350cc line. I'm talking about the Classic, the Hunter, and the Meteor. And those bikes are only sitting at around 20 horsepower. Other details are that it has a traditional twin shock design and an upside down fork up front, along with a single Bray front brake caliper. And that is Brembo's own low cost brand. So coming along with the Harley name and things like the LCD dash and LEDs, it seems that this will be aiming toward the luxury end of the mainstream Indian motorcycle market. One thing we can be sure of is that we won't be seeing it in any Western markets anytime soon, with this being an Indian exclusive at this point. And I can only imagine the horror that I'd see on some of the more stereotypical Harley fans' faces if they ever saw a 440cc single on the showroom floor next to their big 1.6 litre V-twin. They'd need an Ambo on standby for all the heart attacks they'd be giving out. So while we won't be expecting to see it here anytime soon, I am expecting to see a lower CC beginner oriented motorcycle coming from Harley in the near future. As mentioned here in Australia, that smaller Street 500 really tapped into that luxury beginner motorcycle market with them selling like hotcakes. So I wouldn't be surprised seeing them trying to capitalize on that once again. After all, their All Roads Lead to Harley campaign does focus on getting newer riders into the brand as soon as possible. But there you have it. Let me know what you think about this single cylinder 440cc baby Harley down in the comments below. Would you ever consider one and do you think it would be sacrilege to bring it to the Western markets? To be honest, I don't hate the styling of it. I just think that a single cylinder would not hit here. But thanks again for watching guys and until next time, see ya. And in September of that year, announced that they would be pulling out of the country. <laughs> pulling out. Something very similar with Bajar, with... Bajaj? Bajar. Bajar? Bajaj? I don't want to say this wrong. Okay, it's spelt B-A-J-A-J. Bajaj? I think I'm going to go with Bajar.